So on behalf of the Many Years Research Laboratory at the University of Sydney and our group leader Aaron Camp, uh, it is a pleasure um, to accept this award and would like to thank all involved with uh, the Brain Foundation, uh, but in particular uh, the donors and the sponsors who allow many great research groups uh, within Australia to undertake some uh, novel and exciting and impactful research in rare and debilitating neurological conditions uh, such as uh, many as disease. Uh, this uh, award will allow uh, our uh, laboratory, uh, several researchers and uh, research students to undertake uh, a very exciting uh, and novel uh, research project uh, into understanding the unknown disease process and progression of Meniere's disease. And for those who are unaware of what Meniere's disease is, it is a rare and debilitating uh, inner ear disorder which is characterised by crippling symptoms uh, which is vertigo, uh, tinnitus or ringing within the ear, uh, hearing loss uh, and pressure in, in the head and within the ear. So all Although these symptoms have been well characterised over uh, the last several decades, the, there's no clear link between uh, how they result in balance dysfunction and these uh, debilitating vertigo attacks for the patients. Uh, so without an understanding of what is occurring uh, in these patients, there can't be any clinical progression in terms of developments of treatments and cures. Uh, so it is our, our hope uh, to uh, undertake uh, some, some novel research on a biomarker or an indicator on Meniere's disease, which is something called endolymphatic hydrops. And, and this is a swelling or a bloating uh, in the inner ear, uh, which is a buildup of the inner ear fl salty fluid called endolymph. Uh, but unfortunately, it's unknown uh, how this uh, buildup or bloating of the inner ear fluid actually occurs in these patients. Uh, so we're using uh, a novel uh, mouse, mo genetically uh, modified mouse model uh, to try and understand uh, the, the link between endolymphatic hydrops in Meniere's disease and the balance dysfunction uh, and vertigo attacks. And we're using uh, a series of uh, new techniques that we've devel developed uh, over the, the last five or so years. We're using electrophysiology and uh, s several uh, imaging uh, modalities uh, and also uh, behavioural techniques as well to really zone in on a, on a cascade of changes which is, are, are occurring in these uh, mouse, uh, this mouse model. Uh, so we're, we're the, although this probably uh, has uh, can un uncover the unknown disease process of uh, many as disease and balance dysfunction in endolymphatic hydrops, uh, it may lead to an improved uh, clinical diagnosis and screening of these uh, many years patients and the potential development of uh, novel therapeutics to uh, attenuate and, and aid um, ceasing uh, this uh, balance dysfunction uh, in many years disease. Uh, so once again, would really like to thank uh, the, the Brain Foundation for this opportunity.